G'day everybody and welcome back to another Sims 4 speed build. Uh, this is Lara Wilder and you are walking on the Wilder side. Does that sound a bit too trite? I don't know, we'll see. Uh, this build is something I like to call the lookout and it's designed for um, a small family. It does have two bedrooms. Um, if you download it furnished, it has um, two single beds. It has been player tested, so the master bed or the, the double bed will require your sim to scooch over, but it will still, they can still get into um, and uh, sleep two sims, one on either side of the bed. So here we are. <coughs> Goodness me. Um, we've got three levels. And I have to stop remembering to say, um, and I'm just trying to work out door and stairway placement here. And uh, uh, the final placement, uh, that's the final placement for the ground floor. And I think we um, keep the same for the next floor as well. Um, the top floor has a study area and two bedrooms the bottom the middle floor has a kitchen dining and the bottom floor is an open-air living room there is no television but there is a computer in the study area you'll get to see in a minute so what we're working on at the moment is the floor plan um, for the top floor well actually I kind of flip backwards and forwards because I go um, the way I build <clears throat> is um, I decide on this room and then I kind of go, oh, I must do this in this room and then like, oh gosh, I've forgotten to do this in this room. So I do sometimes flip backwards and forwards a little bit. But here I am trying to work room by room and taking my own advice, putting some lights in so that you can actually see what you're doing and colours appear true rather than... Uh, being subject to um, shadows and things like that. So I always um, recommend that you absolutely put lights into your build before you do anything else so that you can see um, what you're doing. And that's another um. So we're working on the bathroom first off. It's a cute little shared bathroom uh, between the parents and the children. As I said, this is, uh, you could you could expand the master bedroom and shrink the children's bedroom down to just one. Give the parents' bedroom a little bit more room. That would work. So um, I've tried something a little bit different with um, the toilet here. And again, I'm saying I'm um, way too much. We're building a little bit of a uh, cupboard around or a, a a storage centre around the toilet. You often see in shops like Home Art or Copper Art or something like that, these little stands that go over that's supposed to sit over the toilet and you can store your toilet paper and a plant and magazines and whatever else you have in the toilet. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I certainly don't like to read when I'm in that room unless I'm relaxing in a bathtub. What about you? Do you take a magazine with you when you have to go... You know, go the unmentionable. I certainly don't. And I thought this little chair in the corner, wicker chair with a basket of flowers on it, was a bit cute. Uh, sometimes, you know, you have furniture in the room rather than a hook or uh, towel rails to, you know, drape your towels or whatever over. So now we're moving on to the main bedroom. It, this has been play tested. Uh, little Elara Sim is standing down on the sidewalk waiting to see what um, what she needs to check out as far as how the furniture's laid out and things. And I can absolutely tell you, she can't walk around to that side of the bed, but she can scooch over to that side. So. Uh, it won't be an issue for your sims. If it is, of course, you can always take that wall out one more, make the children's bedroom a little bit smaller and, uh, you know, make it more livable for your grown-up sims if you wish. I had a lot of fun doing this and I can't wait for you to see the screenies because it's a really interesting build, I feel. And I think it's a really nice addition to the overall aesthetics of your um, area, your town. 
it is built on a small lot it's on a 20 by 15 so of course you can put it on a larger lot do more landscaping put it in the middle of like a park it could be used as a ranger's tower perhaps or um, you could turn it into a store and have um, the you know wares things to try on things for sale up on the top floor uh, and a cash register and things a sale bench or sale counter I should say on the middle floor and more landscaping things on the ground floor it could be turned into a cafe or bakery so there's a whole bunch of things that could be done with this build I think that would be really interesting and I really really um, enjoyed when I saw the picture on the internet I went oh my gosh I know exactly what to do with that so um, we're just doing the final touches to the study area and I will go back and do the lighting you will see at a later stage and I'm just gonna take a sneaky sneaky sip of tea <clears throat> and I'll also probably redo the windows uh, I'm not sure if I've included them in the video because I realized that Part of what makes your build appealing on the forums is a nice street frontage because the, the, the first photo that is displayed in the forums, it's not the only one, but the first photo that's displayed is from what's considered the street frontage. So whichever um, side that your letterbox is on, that is considered the, the street front so I do switch the windows around to make it a little more appealing from the front and um, I think I changed them to smaller ones as well because it just makes it easier to furnish and also to decorate I think with these these um, smaller windows but the photo that I did see had these great big windows and initially that's what I chose to do so you can see here we've got almost a micro kitchen it's very compact very cute uh, I wouldn't mind having this kitchen to clean because wipe wipe and you're done but it has a stove it has the sink it has the fridge um, and it has room for your sims to either eat up at the um, at the counter or in nice little dining area uh, really cute and you could also put another dining area downstairs if you were using this as a cafe or something for example you could have th items for sale on the top uh, floor you could have a kitchen on this floor and you could have a sales counter and seating you know for like cafe style seating down on the ground in amongst the gardens which I think would be really cute so you can see Alara there thinking about uh, what we're going to do with this and just on to the landscaping often people leave out the landscaping because they think it's a bit boring but I had fun doing this one uh, I made it not too um, overly done but I did want to put some flowers and pretty it up a little bit uh, along with a couple of trees and I usually start with the plants and then put flowers in after, uh, and plants and things sorry I usually start with plants and rocks and then do the terrain painting afterwards but this time I thought I would try something different and do the terrain painting first and see if I could fill those spots where I'd painted and um, you know make it appropriate so I've gone for pinks and purples here as a little bit of a contrast to all the brown wood uh, it's nice to have a little bit of um, floral contrast to to wood tones I think so just putting out some irises as borders here so it's like a path that's leading you direct to you know your seating area and direct to the uh, stairs up and um, we uh, excuse that noise um, I also placed a couple of trees around but like I said if you put this on a larger lot you could absolutely have this uh, set in um, parkland or a wooded area and used as a lookout post for your ranger or park ranger or you know um, whatever you had this my outside bin and I do go back and put a bin in uh, the kitchen because I am with many other sim builders I'm sure the struggle is real trying to remember to put a bin in your kitchen is just um, sometimes you just you just forget 
now I'm putting in a few lights uh, it is a really pretty build at night time if you download this lot to your game first of all don't forget to use the move objects cheat on I haven't done a whole lot here as you can see the garden is lit up beautifully at night um, this I haven't used a lot of move objects cheats but you will get the best effect from it if you do have that cheat on before you download and I would I suspect that, that would be the case for most of the uh, builds that you would download from the gallery and by the time this goes live this will be available for download from the gallery the link will be in the down there so check it out uh, I'd love to hear what you think if you use this build for your game I'd love to hear about your sims what they get up to what their you know the adventures that they had if you um, did any, anything interesting with them if uh, you changed the build and what sort of setting you put it into did you put it on a small lot did you put it in parkland I'd really love to hear about it uh, in the comments or you can send me a DM uh, and not long now till the screenshots and we're just doing like as I said I'm doing a final touch-up you can see it looks much more pleasant from the street now than just that blank um, walls that we had before and just trying to get some good shots in here um, <clears throat> just having a final tour through to make sure from Sims point of view that we didn't forget anything so you can see the gorgeous little bedrooms how they're laid out as you can see I wanted a little bit of greenery in there and I chose this little bedside table because it captured not only the blue color of the the bedspread but it also brought that little bit of greenery into it as well so and as I said to you we went back did the lights um, so that it was um, easier at the end and there's another little tip for you if you want something on top of a surface that has snap points put it on move the cupboard or whatever in this case it was a dresser out the way and then move your little object back holding down the alt key and then put your cupboard back so you will still have those snap points available to use if you wish but the the lamp in this case will be in a more appropriate um, spot than than just in the middle of the dresser it's you know one on each side for each child to use in um, you know if they were reading in bed or or getting up to mischief or whatever the lights in here we've gone for a nice warm tone to match that wood so a bit of a yellow kind of light um, and it really looks it feels to me quite homey and quite cozy and I quite like that kitchen it's it's really pretty I think even got an achievement while I was doing this so um, it, very exciting all right so we are just now testing to make sure that we've got um, again I'm doing another walkthrough from through a sims eyes just to make sure that we've got all of our bits and pieces in place um, looks like we have and as you can see here I am play testing um, all of the bits and pieces here's our screenshots thank you so much for joining me today I really appreciate your company I'll see you next time